Well, 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 Guy Brush Threepwood, you do turn up in the strangest places. Uh, hi, Elaine. Uh, do you think you could help me out? How did you get into this mess? <laughs> it's kind of a long story. Oh, that's okay. I've got time. Uh, well, it all started on Scab Island. Some of my admiring fans had pressured me into telling my LeChuck evaporating story once again. Deep in the Caribbean. So I bust into the church and say, Now you're in for it, you bilious bag of barnacle bait! And then LeChuck cries, Guybrush, have mercy! I can't take it anymore! I think I know how he must have felt. Yeah, if I hear this story one more time, I'm gonna be crying myself! Don't you have any new stories? Well, actually, that's why I'm here on Scab Island. I'm on a whole new adventure. Growing a mustache? No, bigger than that. A beard? No, I'm in search of treasure. Biggest treasure of them all. A treasure so valuable and so well hidden that it haunts the dreams of every pirate on the seas. You mean... Big whoop? None other. Then why'd you come here? There's no treasure on Scab Island. Well, I didn't know that before. Now I'm trying to charter a ship and look someplace else. When I return, I'll have riches galore and a whole new story. Or you'll have died trying. Either way, we won't have to hear about LeChuck anymore. guys wouldn't know a good story even if they paid 50 bucks for it. When I find Big Whoop, I'll become a legend among pirates for generations to come. I can only charter a ship and get off this stinking island. Oops, uh, excuse me. Out of my way, fancy pants! On second thought, stop right there! You ain't from these parts, are you? This is a toll bridge! You gotta pay! Who's gonna make me, shorty? Tough guy, huh? Help! Police! <laughs> Scream as loud as you want! There's no police on Scab Island. Please, not in my new coat. Maybe I should cut you one out of cement. Hey, you're alone it. This is my lucky night. Remember, wherever you go, on sea or on land, you can't ever hide from Lago Legrand. Tough town. I guess I should have got those traveler's checks. Oops, I think I broke the sign. Hello? Hey, where's my monocle? I can't see a thing without my monocle. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? How's business? 
It's just terrible. No one ever comes down here anymore. Largo's got all my regular spooked. You know, I can mix any drink there is. Make anything you could name. But I can't make the one thing that could really do this island some good. What's that? A voodoo doll of Largo Legrand. You there! Uh-oh. Give me my usual and put it in a real glass. Fork over the dough or you'll be serving Bloody Marys for a week. From your nose. That's all I have. Well, you better have more tomorrow. Or we might have to move this dump to a new location. Like, say, the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> Boy, you just gave him all your money? I don't want to talk about it. It's blank. Uh, oh, yuck. Hey, how'd old Pegbiter get loose? I'd better go catch him before he catches somebody else. Cheese squigglies, one of my favorites. I'll just take a little. Hey, leave that alone. Sorry, is this your bucket? Well... No. So you won't mind if I take it? I guess not. Thank you. 
Wow, a whole bucket of mud. And it's mine, all mine. This is creepy feeling. I'd swear on my grandfather's grave, something weird is going on. I can't reach it. It doesn't seem to stay closed. I think I hear Largo coming. Hey, what the hell? What's going on? Whoever did this is gonna pay. I can't get this thing off my head. When I get this thing off my head, Somebody's gonna be real sorry! Maybe I shouldn't have done that. He looked pretty steamed. You're making me mad, Marty! That's my name, don't wear it out! Look, I want it free and I want it tonight! Marty, tonight? Sure, I'll come! I'm talking about getting my laundry! Don't worry about me, I've been dry for three years! I said, I need it back tonight! What? Yeah, we'll stay out all night! This is useless! You tell them I'll be back to pick it up! Or else. Not responsible for lost buttons or hooks. I'll see what we have ready for Mr. Legrand. I know it's here somewhere. I saw it a while ago. Now oh, where was it? Ah, here it comes.
anything, this is a cold soup. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Hey, uh, how's the stew tonight? Stew? How gauche. We only serve gourmet chilled soups here. In fact, our new cook has been working all day on a very special Vichy Soise. Let me go see how he's doing. How's the Vichy Soise, Bernard? Excellent, sir. Won't you have a taste? Oh, I think I will. Oh my god! What kind of demented recipe book are you using? <laughs> You're fired! But, sir... Out! Get out of my sight! This is the most disgusting, filthy mess I've ever seen in my life! Look at all the hair! And what's this stuff? How am I ever gonna get rid of this junk? Well, here's your soap. Uh, I'm really not that hungry anymore. Dang. Hey, can you cook? A little. How'd you like a career in the fast-paced world of pub food cuisine? Are you saying there's an opening in the kitchen? Yeah. You interested? Sure, I'll give it a shot. Great. Job is yours. Here's a week's worth of wages. Now go strap on that apron and get to work. Okie dokie. Guybrush Threepwood, it's been a long time since you last came to see me. Do I know you from somewhere? Ah, we often forget those who help us most. We do? It was I who told you how to do away with LeChuck. I told you where to find the voodoo anti-root and how to turn it into the powerful ghost-dissolving potion you needed. Oh yeah, now I remember. I'd like to have my fortune read. I see a hard road for you, Guybrush. Things didn't get easy for you when you defeated LeChuck, did they? People only wanted more. You had to keep proving yourself over and over. The pressure kept mounting until you lost it all. Your fame, your fortune, the one you love. Okay, that's enough. How's business? Very good. Many hexes this week. Saved many people from the evil eye. Made many pieces of eight. Although Largo took most of them. Tell me about this Largo guy. He's a weak little man who bullies this whole island around. Most people are afraid of him because he was once LeChuck's right-hand man. Yeah, but LeChuck's history! I got rid of him myself! True evil can never be destroyed completely. You will see. Why don't you just put a curse on Largo? I've tried. My most powerful magic lies in voodoo dolls. But to make an effective doll, I need some items from Largo's person. And no one's brave enough to go get them for me. What kind of ingredients do you need for the doll? Are you willing to help me make one? Uh, maybe? 
To make it work, you need to bring me some personal artifacts of the victim. One from each of the four basic voodoo groups. Something of the thread, something of the head, something of the body, and something of the dead. Hey, that almost rhymes. For the thread, I need a piece of Lago's clothing. And a lock of hair will do for the head. Bring me a sample of fluid from his body and from his dead relatives. You must acquire some remnant of a corpse. Here, take the shopping list. Thanks. Do you have any of those ingredients with you? I have his toupee. Hmm, not quite a part of his head, but maybe I can get some scalp fragments from it. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have some of his spit. Excellent. You may keep the paper. Have you brought me any other ingredients? I have the bone of his grandfather. Perfect. Do you have the final ingredient? I have this pearly white bra. Yes, that will work. At last! Now I can make a voodoo doll to be reckoned with. Let me get my juju bag. And now for the ingredients. A dandruff flake from Largo's head. A single piece of Largo's thread. A drop of fluid from his body. A single chip off the bone of the dead. And finally, some miscellaneous voodoo herbs and seasonings, including monosodium glutamate. This ought to be good. Two, four, six, eight. Who do we assassinate? Lago, Lago, yeah. Hey, that looks just like him. Thanks, Voodoo Lady. One more thing. Some of the ingredients were not the optimum specimens. It should still work, but it will have a limited range. You will have to get close to Largo. Very close. Hey, what are you doing in here? Get out of my room! It's little, mean-looking, and ugly, just like Largo. Stop bothering me! I can't believe you're in here again! Take that, you stumpy little dim-witted toad! What? Who do you think you are? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. People don't always recognize me. That's why I carry this! I'm gonna tear you limb from limb. How are you doing that? Largo the Grand, you are a no good, vicious, two bit thug. I command you to give me back my money and leave this island. Ha! I already spent all your money. Oh, well, I command you to leave this island. Just you try and make. That'll teach you to mess with the Slayer of the Ghost Pirate LeChuck! What's that? You killed LeChuck? As a matter of fact, I did. Quite an interesting story, actually. The fortune teller said she did in LeChuck! She did, did she? Does she have one of these? Is that... 
Yes, LeChuck's beard. Still alive and wriggling. Let me see that. Boy, it is alive. We've been looking for a living piece of LeChuck for years. Now we can bring him back to life. Look out, world! The most fearsome pirate of all time will soon sail the seas again! Whoops. I'm afraid it's true, Guybrush. If they have any animated tissue, they can reanimate his whole body. But I blew his body into a zillion gooey pieces. Not his body, Guybrush. You destroyed his spirit form. His body was safely buried far away. But by now it must be... Rotten? Partially decomposed? Yes. And I don't think that's going to make him any more pleasant to deal with. He's gonna be looking for me. Yes. He's gonna try to kill me. Undoubtedly. Where can I hide? There is no place to hide, but there is a way out. What is it? You're doing it right now. Fiddling with the change in my pocket? Hunting for Big Whoop. Oh yeah, I was doing that, wasn't I? Big Whoop isn't just a treasure. It contains the secret to another world. Find that world, and you'll be able to escape LeChuck forever. But I know so little about Big Whoop. Take this book. Big Whoop. Unclaimed Bonanza or Myth? And where'd you get this? I checked it out at the Fat City Library. I foresaw your need. Gee, thanks. I used your name when I checked it out, so be sure and return it when you're through reading. The overdue fines in Fat City are pretty steep. Gee, thanks. My name's Captain Dre. What can I do for you? I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because a while ago, I lost my lucky sailing necklace. I called it my eye that has seen the world. I can't sail without it. No way, man. I need to charter a ship. I can't charter you my ship because... I gotta run. Lots of treasure hunting to do. Okay. Bye, man. Come again. Would you like my monocle? Thanks, man. This'll do just fine for me lucky sailing necklace. What can I do for ya? I need to charter a ship. You're in luck, my friend. Rumor has it that Lago's been run off the island, so I'm now free to sail again. Only problem is that you don't look like the type that has 20 pieces of eight. Actually, I do have that much. Well, man, consider me ship chartered. Great. Where's your ship? You're standing in it, man. Yikes. Deep in the Caribbean, hidden by an endless storm, lies LeChuck's Fortress. So, when are we gonna resurrect the old bloated fool? 
Oops. I'll ignore that comment just this one time, Largo. Only because they tell me you found Guybrush Threakwood. It's Threepwood, and I found him on Scab Island. Very good. No one gets the upper hand on the Chuck without getting what he deserves. I want Guybrush brought to me, and I want him brought alive. I am entrusting this to you. Do not fail me. Never, your voodoo lordship. Aye. Guybrush Threepwood is finished. I need you to start building me a very special doll. With pleasure. I'm off to find Big Whoop. Welcome to the Jolly Rasta. Where do you want to go? I don't know. What are my choices? I only know how to get to Tree Islands, man. What are they? There's where we just came from, Scab Island. The only island where pirates are free to be pirates. Then there's Booty Island. The festive French Mardi Gras party all the time island. It's run by one of the most respected and loved governors around, Governor Elaine Marley. Elaine? And last, there is Fat Island, a fascist dictatorship run by an overbloated pig named Governor Fat. Here, take this easy to read reference map, courtesy of Dread Tours. You can use it to show me where you want to go. Excuse me, sir. Yes? Aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? I'm really in a hurry. Hold on, sir. I'm with the local constabulary, sir. You'd better come with me. Governor Fat would like a word with you. I'm really very busy. Could we do this another time? Coming. Well, mister... Oh, excuse me. Well, Mr. Threepwood, I can't tell you how pleased I am to have you here as my guest. Thank you. Your home is lovely. You have an eye for the finer things, Mr. Threepwood. I admit my tastes run to the expensive. To the expansive is more like it. I am not a patient man, Mr. Threepwood. Yes, I've had to indulge in a bit of creative financing. But I've just made a deal that will keep the bill collectors out of here for a long time. Melting down your silverware to build an oil pipeline? I'll be selling something which I believe I shall be glad to be rid of. I'm selling you, Mr. Threepwood, to the ghost pirate LeChuck. LeChuck's dead. I killed him. Perhaps you didn't kill him quite so thoroughly as you imagined. He looked perfectly healthy the last time I saw him. Last time you saw him? Oh no, LeChuck's back. I beg your pardon, did you say something? He doesn't scare me. Just tell me where I can find him. I rather think he'll find you, Mr. Threepwood. You see, he's put a sizable bounty on your head. Oh? 
a bounty I intend to collect. Oh. Whatever bounty LeChuck's offering, I'll double it. <laughs> Very amusing, Mr. Threepwood. Take him away. Yes, sir, Governor Fat. Come on, you little weasel. I'll be back. Come on. Don't try to escape or anything. Walt will chew you to bits. Okay, Walt. I'll be back to relieve you at 11. Watch me flip it right into my pocket. They don't call me the Bone Master for nothing. Here, doggy doggy. Here, boy. There's a banana in here, and an organ. Mr. Guybrush Threepwood, arrested for infractions too numerous to list. Hey, that <laughs> tickles! I'll knock. What do you want, kid? Oops. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to disturb you. Then get out of here! No more bets? You're a winner, sir. Which prize would you like? What you got left? We have money, an invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, and a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. I'd like the money. The money it is! All you have to do is watch the wheel go round. Give me the next number. First, give me the password. If this is one, what's this? Five. Right. The winning number will be 21 red. Thanks. What do you want, kid? What's the next winning number going to be? First, give me the password. You have to get it right three times. If this is five, what's this? Two? Okay, that's one right. Two more. If this is two, what's this? One? That's two. One more. If this is one, what's this? Three? Okay, you must be a member of the Gamblers Club. But I don't recognize you. What? You don't remember me? No, but that's okay. You wouldn't have gotten the password right if you weren't a member. The winning number will be three black. I'm rich. No more bets? Okay, you win. Big prizes for just one piece of eight. Hello. How you doing? I'd like to place a bet. Betting costs money, kid. One piece of eight for one game. Oh, yeah. Here. Okay, kid. Which number you want? I'd like three black. Okay. Here we go. Three. 
three black. You're a winner, kid. Which of our fabulous prizes do you want? Take your pick. You can have 60 pieces of eight, or you can have the invitation to Governor Marley's Mardi Gras party, or you can have a free pass to see the Linguini Brothers Circus. Well, which will it be? I'd love to have the invitation. He wants the invitation. Congratulations. Thanks. Easy money. Where do you want to go? I'd like to buy this well-polished old saw. Okie dokie, that'll be 25 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this sign. Sorry, that sign's not for sale. Oh. Well, uh, I guess I could sell it. That'll be five pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. I'd like to buy this mirror. Alrighty, that'll be 15 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Thank you. You have a costume on reserve. Let's see. Your costume is right over here. Walk this way, please. Well, here it is. You'll surely be the talk of the party in this. Well, have fun and enjoy your costume. See the world. See the world. Could I have one of those leaflets? Yeah, okay. Like to charter a ship? I do weddings, funerals, bar mitzvahs, you name it. I just remembered I'm late for a party. You and everybody else on this island. If you need a ship, you know where to find me. Glass bottom boat. Sightseeing. Sightseeing. I think she'd slug me. Sightseeing. I think she'd slug me. Sunken galleons. I'd like to buy this ship's horn. Excellent choice. That'll be 40 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll take it. Let me get you one from Overstock. Here you go. Thank you. something I can help you with? I'm here for the governor's party. You mean Governor Marley's Mardi Gras fish fry? It's invitation only and costumes are required. I've got my invitation right here. Well, what do you know? You do have an invitation. Do you have a costume? I have my costume right here. Better put it on. Well, if you insist, but you'll have to try to restrain yourself. No, no, not here. Go in the bushes or something. 
Geez. Oh, that is nice. And the boots are a nice touch. Okay, I guess you can go through. Have fun. Hey, what is all the racket? Don't mess with the governor's cans! Who do you think you are? Hey, come back here! I'm not done yet! You better just get out of here! No good punk! Anyway, like I was saying, if it's not raccoons, it's teenage vandals. I'm gonna sweat off 20 pounds in this stupid costume. All right, I got the first map piece. No kidding. What's the matter, boy? Smell something? Uh, nice doggy. <laughs> What's the matter there, Gabrush? What? How did you know my name? I was talking to the dog. Who are you? She named her dog Guybrush? Yeah, I don't get it either. It's not much of a name if you ask me. Says it's cause he's dumb and helpless and keeps getting in the way. But he sure can sniff out the governor's possessions. Maybe you should empty your pockets. Try and catch me, old man. Oh, uh, look out for that rake. Governor? I caught one of your party guests making off with your grandfather's map. Another would-be treasure hunter, eh? Bring him in. In here, Guybrush. Guybrush? Guybrush Threepwood? The one and only, Sugar Bear. Of all the parties in all the houses on all the islands of the Caribbean, he had to crash mine! It's destiny, Honeycakes. Don't talk to me. Snugglepuss. Get lost. Punky Doodle. I'm warning you. Pooper Dooper. Maybe I should go rake the back 40. Look at us, together again. Boy, we haven't been like this since, well... Since I quit my job and moved away without leaving a forwarding address? Was that what happened? Gee, I, th I thought... Guybrush, can't you take a hint? We were a mistake. I thought we had an agreement. Elaine, take me back. I can't live without you. Oh, really? Maybe we should talk about this. Same old guy, Brush. May lightning strike me if I bear false intentions. You're getting warmer. You were right. I was a buffoon. And a weenie. Oh, Guybrush, I know I shouldn't have anything to do with you, but there's something about your weakness and ineptitude that I find infectious. Does that mean you're gonna let me have the map? The map? Is that what this is all about? I should have known better. If the map's all you care about... You'd better go out and get it!
So, where are all the chicks? Yeah, I thought there'd be some here. Hey! Well, shoot. Then again, in these costumes, <laughs> who can tell? That's true. There might be some babes here. She's gone. I guess I really made her mad this time. Well, maybe she won't miss this old thing. Hmm, well what can we do about it? Well, we just ask. Ha! Bark as loud as you want! Filbert's out raking the back 40! I'd like to, but this dress just doesn't have the pockets for it. I'm going to ditch this thing once and for all. Okay, dog. You're coming with me. Ouch! That really hurts! Ooh, wait a minute. Something very strange is going on here. Do not attempt to adjust your set. Dad? Mom! What are you two doing here? We came looking for you. Where have you been? You came looking for me? But I thought you abandoned me. Why would we do that? We are such loving parents. Yes, we are. So what do you two want? We have some information for you, son. Really? Great! What is it? Well, we're going to give it to you in the form of a song. Oh. Okay. The headphones connected to the rhythm. The rhythm's connected to the rhythm. Write this down. The headphones connected to the ripple. The connected to the ripple. The connected to the ripple. The hip bones connected to the big bone.
Yikes. What is it? What's wrong? Why did you leave me again? Ooh! <laughs> Lechuk! But I killed you! You didn't kill me, you little moron! I was already a ghost when you met me! You just destroyed my spiritual essence. A favor that I will now return. Wow! What a dream! Where do you want to go? There's a model lighthouse lens inside. Shh! Excuse me. Shh! This is a library. Whisper! Now, what is it? I'm looking for a book. Do you have a library card? No. How do I get one? I'll need some personal information. Name? Captain Dredd. Address? 221B Baker Street. Age? Um, 21. Occupation? Consultant. Vices? Jaywalking. I see. All right. Your library card will be mailed to the address you gave me. In the meantime, take this temporary card. You may check books out of the library, but only four at a time. That's about as many titles as I can remember anyhow. What book are you looking for? Whoops, I just remembered an appointment. Remember, silence is golden. Great shipwrecks of our century. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. Famous pirate quotations. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. The Joy of Hex. Hmm, I'll have to remember that. I've had it with this card catalog. Uh, pardon me, miss. What do you want this time? I'm looking for a book. What book are you looking for? Could you find The Joy of Hex? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Do you have great shipwrecks of our century? Okay, here you go. Anything else? Could you find famous pirate quotations? That 
book has been checked out by Governor Fat. Anything else? I won't be needing any more books just now. Remember, silence is golden. Caught anything yet? Are you kidding? I reached my limit hours ago. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty fisherman. Oh, you are, are you? I'm the best fisherman in these isles. Oh, I beg to differ with you. I'm the best fisherman in these isles. You? Why, you couldn't catch fish at a restaurant. The pike I catch make Pike's Peak look like an anthill. That's why I'm known as the Blowfish. You mean the blow hard. Listen, bait for brains. I'm the best around, and that is that. Not if your hooks are as dull as your wit. Perhaps you'd like to make a small wager, eh, Mr. Fisherman? Sure, I'll take your bet. Let me tell you what I had in mind first. If you can catch a bigger fish than I can, I'll give you my prize-winning fishing pole. Sounds fair. If I catch a bigger fish than you, you have to eat it. Raw. Ooh, you mean on rice with a little wasabi and soy sauce? No. Plain cold and with the head still on it. What do you say? All right, it's a bet. Great. I am really looking forward to making you eat my catch. What with all the sewage from Governor Fat's mansion, the fish are usually pretty gross. I never eat mine. Just sell them to restaurants. Best get fishing, buddy. <laughs> um, think I'll drop a line right here. Plunk. Wow, I've got a nibble already. Holy cow, he's a monster. I've got him. <laughs> what a battle! Wow! This is the biggest... The... Uh, well, it, it's almost as big as the Leviathan I just hauled in. Really? Where is this Leviathan? Uh, uh, I think you're lying. Yeah, you're right. It was just a fish story. I guess you win. Here, take the pole. Excuse me, aren't you Guybrush Threepwood? No, my name is Kate Capsize. You must have me confused with someone else. Kate, eh? That's an unusual name. Perhaps you have some identification. My ID is on my ship. Wait here while I go and get it. Nice try, Guybrush. I don't know how you got out of the jail, but I'm taking you back in. You can't go up there! Hey, aren't you supposed to be in jail? You must be confusing me with my cousin, Guybrush. Oh, I see. The resemblance is uncanny. I think there's a fire in the kitchen. Really? I'd better check it out. I don't think I could move him. Oh, look out for the custard! I think I almost woke him up.
where do you want to go? We can't go there, man. That's the forbidden triangle. Excuse me, could you take a look at this? Hmm, looks like a massive fracture. You're gonna be using this? I better reinforce it for you. Here you go, boy. Steel shank, alloy splints, better than new. <clears throat> yeah? Largo the Grand will never bother you again. Yeah, I heard Marty stuck a bunch of pins in his underwear or something. Drove him right out of town. No, it was me. You? What were you doing with Largo's underwear? Um, well, no, never mind. How much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? A woodchuck could chuck no amount of wood since a woodchuck can't chuck wood. But if a woodchuck could chuck and would chuck some amount of wood, what amount of wood would a woodchuck chuck? Even if a woodchuck could chuck wood, and even if a woodchuck would chuck wood, should a woodchuck chuck wood? A woodchuck should chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood, as long as a woodchuck would chuck wood. Oh, shut up. I'd just like to browse, thanks. Okay, but don't touch anything. You're supposed to be cooking. I had to go to the grocery store. Nice try, but not good enough. You're fired. I don't want to disturb him. Hey, what'd you do to my piano player? No thanks. Too many bad memories of piano lessons. Go ahead and take my entertainment. Thanks for nothing, buddy. Excuse me. Yeah, boy? Largo the Grand has left Scab Island for good. Well, well. I guess all those laxatives I was slipping into his drinks finally got to him. What? Don't worry, I don't put him in all the drinks. Grog, please. Shaken, not stirred. Maybe you'd like a Shirley Temple instead. I'm old enough. Look at my beard. Ha! That's the oldest trick in the book. Tell you what, I'll let you have some near grog. Doesn't have any alcohol in it, but it's just as nasty smelling and foul tasting as that stuff grown-ups drink. Right on. Oh, wait. What am I saying? I just sold the last of it to Kate. Sorry. Rats. Of course, if you have some ID. Will you accept a temporary library card? Let me see it. Consultant, you look more like a flooring inspector to me. 
All right, can I get you that drink now? Yeah, I could really use it. Name your poison. What do you got? Well, we have some specialty drinks here at the Bloody Lip, like Yellowbeard's Baby, Bloody Stump, and Blue Whale. I'll have Yellowbeard's Baby. Well, you can try, but I don't think nature's on your side. <laughs> Just give me the drink, please. Hey, I have to crack jokes. It's a union thing. That'll be one piece of eight. Okay. Here you go. And here's a complimentary crazy straw. We give them to all new customers of the Bloody Lip. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. I'll have Yellowbeard's baby. Oh, you haven't even finished the one you got. Come on, drink up. Bartender, get me a drink. Name your poison. Mix me up a blue whale. Sorry, blender's not big enough. <laughs> oh, but seriously, that'll be one piece of eight. Okay. There she blows! Nice place you have here. Well, see ya. Where do you want to go? Where do you want to go? Okay, now who's going to be next? It's a great day for spitting. Just look at this juicy crowd. Step up to the line and test your swill! Valuable prizes! False alarm! As I was saying, even a child can do it! Boy, this stuff makes my spit thick! Come on! It's all paid for by Booty Island Parks and Rec. I'll give it a try. A volunteer! All right, settle down, folks. This kid looks like a serious contender. What's your name, boy? Juicius Maximus III. The Juice Man, Max Mucus. He's juicy to the max. Spit away! We're with you, Jushis! Woo! Let's go! He's cleared first place! That was truly awe-inspiring! Sports fans, we've seen something incredible here today. Let me congratulate you and give you this fine commemorative plaque. Way to go, Jushis! Come on, let's give him a hand! 
Of course, there are plenty more prizes for the rest of you. So how about it, gang? Just put your two lips together and blow. Are you pirates or not? How much will you give me for this plaque? I'm not interested. What do you mean? It's worth a mint. For a lump of pus on a shingle? That's not just any lump of pus. Oh yeah? What's so special about it? The spit of the person who killed LeChuck is on it. Really? That would make it very valuable. And I do like bronze anyway. I'll give you 6,000 pieces of eight for it. Where do you want to go? Dang. I think I get the idea. It's crazy, but it just might work. Hello? Little guy brush. Good boy! Run along home now. Now that's a good dog. All right! I got the first map piece! Where do you want to go? Deep inside LeChuck's fortress. Ah, LeChuck, sir, I regret to report that Guybrush has found one of the map pieces to Big Whoop. You will regret it a lot more if he finds another. Stop him at any cost. But remember, I want him alive. Yes, sir. Creep.
I'll figure a way out of here. Fools. Idiots. Hey! Uh-oh. I can explain, I- Thanks for letting me out of there. You'll have to excuse me if I don't stick around. I've got to find out who framed me. Yes! What do you want? I'm looking for a map. I knew it. Look, kid. I'm sick of you would-be treasure hunters coming over here. I just inherited this house two months ago. And every single day, all I've heard is rap tap tap. Do you have a treasure here? Why can't you people just go away and leave a retired pirate in peace? I'm Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. So, you want a sword fight, do you? Sword fighting's for wimps, weenies, and sissies. Giving up so easily? Wow, this game's a cinch. I have a better way to solve a dispute. Real pirates solve their differences with a drinking contest. Drinking contest? Come on in. I'll get us set up. This is my special grog. Hey, there's some near grog in here. I hate having to waste it. Here's your drink. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. All gone. But you, you're persistent. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. Oh, you already drank yours. That was fast. Take mine. I'll go get more. From what I'm told, nobody can drink the special contest grog without feeling faint. But I've been practicing. You know, most of the treasure hunters just leave when I ask them to. All gone. But you, you're persistent. Are you sure you don't want to back out? No thanks. I'll be fine. You drink first. <sighs> now it's your turn.
Yeah, now I got two map sections. Where do you want to go? Once again. Ah, LeChuck, sir. I just wanted to report that we have finished building the new torture chamber you requested. Very good. Do you have anything else to report? Ah, uh, no. Well, there is one other small little thing. I assume this has to do with Guybrush's capture? Well, sort of. You've allowed him to find the second map piece, haven't you? You fool! You ought to ready your ship and sail after him yourself. Find him, or die! Where do you want to go? Sightseeing. Three hour tours. Glass bottom boat. Great shipwrecks of our century. It says here the Mad Monkey sank at 39 North, 84 West. Sightseeing. I'm interested in chartering a ship. Great. My fee is 6,000 pieces of eight. Okay, I'll pay you the 6,000 pieces of eight. You've chartered yourself a ship. My name's Kate Capsize. I'll be your captain. Are you ready to leave now? Yeah, let's blow this popsicle stand. Have you got a course planned or anything? I can show you where I want to go on this map that Captain Dredd gave me. Well, here we are. What now? 
I'll dive in and look for the sunken galleon. Are you sure you can swim? Hey, I can hold my breath for 10 minutes. I got the monkey head! Well, let's head back to Booty Island. Well, congratulations on your find, Guybrush. Be sure and tell any friends you might have about capsized charters. See you around the turnpike. Glass bottom boat. from the Mad Monkey. Ordinarily, I'd pay six million pieces of eight for this, but I'm a bit short on the cash right now. I'll give you this big whoop map piece for it. Sure, I'll take the map piece. It's yours. That makes three map pieces, only one to go. Check it out! Sightseeing! Three hour tours! Three hour tours! Howdy! Welcome to Stan's previously owned coffins. We handle the dead for a lot less bread. What are you looking for, son? Need a bin for your next of kin? Want a family plot without spending a lot? You're in luck! Just look at all this quality merchandise. Never before touched by a living soul. Most of it used only for a few hours. Premature burial, you know. That sort of thing. Well, speak up. Or are you dead? Either way, you came to the right place. I'm looking for a good used coffin. Amazing. When you first walked in here, I said, now there's a guy who needs a good used coffin. There happens to be an excellent deal right behind you. Let's go take a look-see. Now this here is the Cadillac of coffins. Look at all that leg room. There's room in there for Long John Silver himself. Here, let me get in and show you. Yes, a man can really rest in peace and comfort with one of these. Why should a man's coffin be any smaller than his bunk at sea? Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Heck, why not? I could spend a lot of time in a coffin like this. Look at how freely I can wiggle my toes. Can I show you anything else? Could you show me that coffin again? Alrighty. This thing's bigger than my kitchen. You know, a person's coffin should reflect their station in life. I almost forgot. I wanted you to have this complimentary hanky. Just my way of saying, I care. Now, where were we? Oh yeah. If you're thinking about one of those cheaper models, first ask yourself, Sure, sure, try out the lid operation. It's just as roomy closed. I hear you're knocking up there. That solid oak you're hearing. Yes, it sure is nice in here. Hey, I think the lid's stuck. Um, 
Excuse me, friend? Dang, looks like it's empty. Of course it is. I just went to the bank. Now get me out of here. Hello? Is anybody out there? Yoo-hoo! Help? Are you still out there? Hello? Sightseeing. Cruises. Three-hour tours. See the world. Where do you want to go? Deep within LeChuck's fortress, blah, 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 blah. Largo. Yeah. You called for me? Is it true that Guybrush Threepwood has found the third piece of the map to Big Whoop? Ah, yes, sir. I was about... Why did you not come and tell me yourself? Well, I was trying to confirm that he really... Largo, you have been my trusted henchman for many years, but I won't hesitate to drag your entrails from behind my ship if you do not bring me Guybrush before he finds that treasure! Famous pirate quotations. Happiness is a warm manatee. Fester Leech. It's inscribed with a quote. Kiss me, I've got scurvy. Darg! Hmm. Silty. Back again, Mr. Threepwood? Uh, about that voodoo doll? Yes, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. Uh, about that voodoo doll? Yes, it worked pretty well, didn't it? I still have the touch. Well, that's enough voodoo for me. Bye. So be it. Ash to life, the uncremating cream. Hey, that's just a display model. I've got the real stuff back here. That's one of my most powerful potions. Brings the dead back to life. I'll take it. There are some complications. It only works on ashes, and the resurrection is only temporary. Plus, you need to bring me a sample of the subject's ashes before I can mix you up a batch. I have the ashes of somebody I'd like resurrected right here. Bring them to me. Now, there's only one small problem. I forgot the recipe. What? It's been a long time. I don't have that cookbook anymore. I've got a book of voodoo recipes. Good. How many crab scalps does it say to use? Thirteen. Good. That's just what I thought when I whipped up this experimental batch. Thanks. Remember, 
Just a dab will do ya. was a close one. If I didn't have my flame resistant apron on, I would have been killed. You were killed, Rap. What? Your life is well done. I'm dead. Stiff as a frozen foot long. I'm not ready to die. I feel my soul is not at peace. There is something I must do before I pass on. Perfect plumps when cooked wiener technology? No. I just have this nagging feeling that I left the gas on in my restaurant. It's driving me crazy. I'll check the gas for you, Rap. Thanks. Here's the key. Well? You were right. The gas was on. I turned it off. Thanks. I guess where I'm going, I won't need this map anyway. Thanks. Now I can rest in the folds of the earth. Like a steaming weenie in a soft, fresh bun. Ah. <sighs> Where do you want to go? Hmm. Well, Chuck, sir, I got good news and I got bad news. 
The bad news is that Guybrush has found the last piece of the map. Ah, uh, the good news is that I got a plan that can't fail. Ah, uh, you see, he must take the map to a cartographer to have it deciphered. I'll head him off before he gets there. If your plan fails... It will not, your voodoo lordship. Where is that thing? I swear I put it right here. Ah, that'll work. Thanks. What's this? A map? Hmm. Looks like only part of a map. I've got the rest of it right here. Hmm. Very interesting. Can you put it all together into one map for me? I'll do it for you if you'll run an errand for me. Go to the International House of Mojo and ask the fortune teller if my love potion's ready. Okay. I'll try to have this done for you when you come back. Back again, Mr. Threepwood. Wally sent me to pick up some love potion. Oh, okay. Tell him I said to enjoy, but to be careful. It's powerful stuff. Wouldn't want that little guy getting hurt. Wait, I just felt a sudden disturbance in the force. As if a tiny, tiny voice just called out in fear, and then hastily scratched a message in a table. I think Wally's in trouble, and I think LeChuck has something to do with it. Uh-oh. I better go check. I think there's something moving in here. Hey, Rich! I sure could use a hand with this one. Ugh, looks like another box of live snakes. Sounds like it, too. Well, let's get it on the truck. In the small crate of voodoo supplies that would be his home for the next five days and nights, Guybrush is forced to eat bat lungs and eel bladders to stay alive. Eventually, Guybrush and the rest of the slithering cargo are delivered to the very doorstep of the Caribbean's most fearsome villain, living or dead, the ghost pirate LeChuck. Ah, LeChuck's crate of voodoo supplies. You know, we usually don't deliver out this far, and... You guys bucking for a tip? Well, we figured since... Well, you figured wrong. LeChuck don't tip nobody. Gee, what a butt. Ick, I hate snakes.
There is no way, not even in an adventure game, that I'd be able to get all those locks open. Guy Brush Threepwood. You have finally been caught. I have searched every island. Sailed every sea. And now... You are mine! What do you have to say for yourself? Mm. Largo! Yes, sir, LeChuck, sir! Take Guybrush down to the torture chamber and get the machine set up. Yes, sir! <laughs> You'll be in a heap of trouble, Guybrush Threepwood. Now that you are mine, you will pay for what you did to me! Hey, what's a little root beer between friends? Silence! There is only one thing more painful than being resurrected from the dead and crammed into a rotting body. Do you know what that is? Hmm... It is what is about to happen to you! Can't we talk this thing out? You see that candle over there? When it burns through that rope, the bag will fall on the bellows. When it is compressed, it will shoot a single lead bullet, which will ricochet off that pan, then off the shield behind me, bounce off that other shield, finally striking the green balloon. When it pops, it will cause that lever to fall, releasing that ratchet on the chain wheel, and sending you down into the pit of acid. <laughs> uh, gee, I, uh... Do you know what happens next? Um... Well... I will take your bones, still alive and in great pain, and make them into a chair. I will call it my screaming chair. Every morning I will sit in it and listen to you scream. <laughs> Any questions? How much wood would a woodchuck chuck if it... Five cords. What is the secret of Monkey Island? All will be revealed in a few moments. Why do adventure games cost so much? I'm growing tired of your stupid questions. Prepare to die. He didn't say what he was going to do to me. Uh, an Ottoman comes to mind. This stuff makes my spit thick. Hey, watch it with a spit.
what be going on in here? Largo, relight the candle. <sighs> Guybrush has escaped. Find them. Ha! Huh. I bet LeChuck is really cheesed off now. Yep. Hey, Wally? Yeah? Where are we? Good question. There's some stuff in here. I think that these are matches. And this thing feels like a bomb. Holy skunk sweat! Ouch! Hours later. Ah! Oh, the heck with it! Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces! That's not right. No, 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 that's not right. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? I want my granddaughter to marry a real man. A captain, not a washout like you. Okay, let's go over it again so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. Gee, Captain Marley, where should we bury the treasure? Okay, let's go over it again, so no one forgets where we bury the treasure. It looks kind of old. I can't pick that up. Ah. Hey, there's a cracker in here. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. They say anchovies on the top. full of seawater. That seems to have gotten most of the salt out of it. It's nailed shut. Hey, dynamite, just like it says on the side. Oh, the heck with it. Let's make a map and tear it into four pieces. Head north from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks. Ah! Head north from the dinosaur to the pile of rocks. Ah! Gee, 
see, Captain Marley. Where should we bury the treasure? Ah! Head due east, from the rocks to the axe. Ah! I've hit cement! I uh, better not. That's the last match. Great Scott! That came from the direction of Dinky Island! The idiot must be messing with my grandfather's treasure. Ugh, oh, I'd better get over there. There, I think that'll hold. And you showed up about three days later. Will you help me now? Anything to shut you up. That has to have been the longest story I ever heard. Oh dear. Hello, Guybrush. Goodbye, LeChuck. You won't escape me this time. You're right. I give up. That's just as well. Even if you were to escape, I would always be able to find you again. We are bound to one another. Like dreadlocks? Yes, rather like that. Or like... Brothers. Huh? I am your brother. No, no. That's not true. That's impossible! Search your feelings. You know it to be true. No! No! And I brought a little surprise for you. Uh, I don't suppose it's a LucasArts game. No. A dolly? The surprise is a dolly? The surprise is a voodoo dolly, which I'll be using to torture you. And then send you screaming to another dimension, one of infinite pain. Observe. <laughs> that was exhilarating. Let's have some more fun, shall we? Uh, please, no more. Okay, time to send you screaming to a dimension of infinite pain. At last, I'm rid of that pesky little wimp Guybrush. Ah, hey, I'm alive. Hey, I thought I was a goner. Oops. Strange. There must be something wrong with my voodoo doll. It was supposed to send you to another dimension, not the next room. Huh, shoddy materials, I'll bet. Well, I guess I'll just try it again. Uh, no. That's okay. I... Hey, there's only one balloon in here.
I'll just take one. What? All of them? Holy cow, these are my parents! Now you're gonna get it! Uh, let me explain. Um... Hmm, this looks loose. There's a syringe in here. Oh, there's stuff in it. It's a pair of surgical gloves. Wow! A 43 Steely! <coughs> Aha! Caught you! Let's bury the hatchet. Uh, can't we talk this over? There's no need for violence.
Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time! Ow! 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 Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time! Uh, here, try this. Now, isn't that better? Uh, let me explain. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time! Hold on! I know you're upset. Explain. Hey, Guybrush, it's voodoo time. Uh, let's discuss this like rational adults. Hey, Guybrush, it's Voodoo time! Oh, there's no need for violence. This is hauntingly familiar. Well, that's one ingredient. That's two ingredients. That's three ingredients. Now all I need is a doll. Okay, brother, watch out, because I've got my own doll now. Aha! Gotcha! That's pretty good, Guybrush! But not good enough to stop me! Hey? Oh, it's you! What, that again? Oh, look at me quaking in me booties! I laugh at you and your puny voodoo tinkerings! Aha! I'm not afraid of your doll! I wonder what would happen if I tore the leg off this thing! Guybrush! <laughs> what? Come over here. No way. I'm not that stupid. But I want you to... <clears throat> take my mask off. Uh, see the true face of your brother. Oh... All right, I'm coming over. Gently now. Remove my <gasps> mask. My God, you're my creepy brother Chucky. What? Did you think I was kidding before? Why have you been chasing me all over the place? Our mother told me to hunt you down.
when our mother told you to hunt me down, did she actually mention killing me, or was that your idea? Look, Guybrush, could you help me out? Stick the leg back on the doll, okay? Will you promise to stop locking me in your footlocker? All right, all right, I promise. Anything, just put my leg back on. Hey, you kids! You're not supposed to be in here. Ah, so there you are. What is this place? Well, it's not the Screamin' Weenie Hut where we told you to meet us. Your mother and I were very concerned. Thank you for hunting down your brother like we asked, Chucky dear. You boys didn't get in any trouble now, did you? No, no sir. sir. Good. I wish you wouldn't run off like that, young man. We were worried sick. You don't know what kinds of murderers and ne'er-do-wells might be hanging around a place like this. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, a mighty pirate. I don't have to worry about stuff like that. Of course, dear. But please be careful. Well, come on then. Let's go ride the madly rotating buccaneer. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs>